so I'm on my way to work right now just so you guys know I'm gonna try my best to show you as much as possible without violating any rules or any laws so I'll see you guys when I get to work So before I start my shift, I usually disinfect everything with this. I wipe down my computer with this, and then I wipe down my little walkie-talkie with this, my badge, everything. So I'm just showing you guys what um, we used to go into the rooms. So the soap is usually here but we pump it. So there's a pump here where we can press it and the soap comes down. And then here you put your leg in and the water comes down. So you don't have to touch anything. So we're responsible for doing vital signs. So each room has their own vital sign machine. And also each room has an SCD machine. So it's going on two o'clock now and I got here at 10.30. The first thing I did when I got here is I took a port. I did walking rounds with the other nurse tech. Um, after we did work walking rounds, um, someone had to go to the bathroom so we put them on the bedpan really quick. And then I did my Q4 vitals. Um, today I'm on a med surge slash tele slash ortho floor. So, um, yeah, after I did that, um, I did my blood sugars. So, it's 3.30. I got sent home early. I was supposed to work till 7, but they didn't need me anymore. So, um, I'm just going to change my shoes and change my clothes. And then I'll talk to you guys on the way home. I just wanted to let you guys know a little bit more about my job. So I am um, a nurse tech. Um, you're considered a nurse tech at my job after you finish your first semester of nursing school. Um, there's not really a huge difference between a nurse tech and a CNA. Um, the only thing at from, well at least at my job, is um, a nurse tech can assist the RN in putting in a Foley catheter and a nurse tech can also do um, simple dressing changes. Um, and there is a pay difference between a nurse tech and a CNA, but other than that, that's the only difference. Um, I am working in um, the resource team, which means that um, I float between different hospitals and I float between all the floors. So the way I get my assignment for that day is um, I, I usually make my schedule so I know the day and the shift I'm working. So they'll call me a couple hours before my shift or they'll send me a text message and they'll be like, um, hey, you're going to this hospital and you're going to this floor. Um, that's how I get my assignment. Um, whenever I get to the floor, the first thing I usually do is I find the charge nurse and I let her know that I'm here. She's the one that usually gives me my assignment. And then um, I usually get a tracker also. And then I usually get like um, like a little walkie-talkie so they can call me if anything. If um, a patient is calling, they can, the secretary can call me on the walkie-talkie to let me know that the patient needs me for X, Y, Z. Um, so when I get a report from the other CNA, we do walking rounds. Well, we do bedside shift report. So um, we go into each patient's room and we do our report at the bedside. So we do it like that because just in case like, you know, you forget to add something in a report, the patient can always like chime in and say like, hey, like I want her to know this or um, just anything that the patient wants to add. Like 
patient might want might might say like hey um i don't know like i only drink water with no ice like something like that so um in my reports um we usually get how the patient moves if they're independent if they're an assist if they're bed rest um how often um we, we do vitals um if they have any drains if um they need their blood sugar checked um what their diet is um i usually get who the nurse is just in case anything i know who to call um if they're hard of hearing um if they use any assistive devices like canes walkers um basically anything that i would need to know to um do my job um we get that all of us usually get that in report um if they're a q2 turn um things like that basically normally the cnas we have to do um hourly rounding so we would do like the odds and the nurses will do the even so the nurses would check every two four six and then we'll check at like one o'clock three o'clock five o'clock so on so the patient is being checked on basically every hour by somebody it's also the cna's job to set up the room if a new patient is coming so the setup is basically the same all across every floor that i go to the only exception is icu because when I go there, they have their own special setup, but normally on the other floors, uh, I get a basin and in that basin, I'll put a box of tissues, toothpaste, a toothbrush, uh, emesis, um, little basin, mouthwash, lotion, deodorant, soap, um, blood pressure cuff, a fall wristband, and some socks. I believe that's everything and if it's a male sorry if it's a male I'll put um, a urinal in there also I also on um, in the bed I usually put like a big chuck or a big pad um, no matter if the person is independent an assist or a total I usually put that in the bed anyway um, if a patient is going home I usually am responsible for basically getting them dressed getting them ready um, I help them and then I help them pack up all their stuff to make sure like nothing is left behind and I also take off if they if they're wearing a heart monitor I take out their heart monitor if they have any IVs in I also am responsible for taking out their IVs sometimes I also if transport is busy I'll usually have to like wheel them downstairs to get their ride when it comes to charting I normally chart the patient's vitals which are the temperature the heart rate the blood pressure respirations and oxygen I also chart um, their blood sugar and their diet and how much they ate that day also if they're a person who is bed rest I also chart um, what side or how they're laying if they're supine or left or right if a patient is completely bed rest they should be turning every two hours so we have to document that we actually chart what that we sorry we have to document that we actually move them and what side we move them to so towards the end of my day i normally pull trash and then i pull linen and then i fill water um some floors they have the big water pitchers and some floors make use the um little styrofoam cups it's mostly the heart floors that make um you use the little um, styrofoam cups because it's easier to measure a patient's input in a styrofoam cup because you know how much that is um rather than a big like water pitcher another thing i forgot to mention is that I do um, EKGs also and that is a skill that I learned at work they taught me it there so that's a part of my job that if um, any patient not not only my own patient but if um, any patient on the entire floor if they need an EKG and they know that you know how to do it then it is your job to go and do the EKG on that patient but other than that that's basically it um, I have never worked in an assisted living, home health, or um, 
a nursing home. I have always been in a hospital, so um, I don't know what it's like in any other facility, but that's basically a rundown of how it works at mine. So if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll see you in my next video.